Hey all, this is Cuprox123E, and today I'm going to be showing you how to perform fast modular exponentiation on your Casio FX991, uh, as well as some other helpful tricks like how to, how to perform uh, modulo operations really easily. Okay, so uh, a quick introduction to one of the main features that I'll be using throughout um, this whole video, and that is this here calc button. So in essence, what this allows you to do is enter in an equation using variables such as these a through f and x, y, and m. Uh, so you can enter in an equation that uses uh, multiple of these variables and then press calc and it'll um, allow you to substitute in di different values for the variables. So let's begin with a quick example. So I'm going to hit alpha a and that'll, that'll put the a character on screen and then I can do plus b times c. So we have a plus b times c. Um, and let's enter in some values. So I've pressed the calc button, so it'll ask me what I want to put in for a. Let's just put 1. Let's do 1 plus 2 times 3, which should evaluate to 7. 1 plus 6. So uh, we put in 1 for a, put in 2 for b, and then put in 3 for c, and we can see that it prints out 7. Um, so that's a basic introduction to the calc feature on the um, FX991 series. Um, so let's move on to the remainder operator, which is something that I didn't know uh, this had for a while um, because it's kind of, uh, you kind of need to be looking for it to know it's there. Um, on the fraction button, you can see the percent sign R, um, or I guess division sign R more correctly. Um, and so if we try something, uh, for example, 15 and then division with remainder, and let's go with um, 4. So it's, it's going to put 3 and then remainder 3. And so, um, you know, if we do uh, 4 times 3 plus 3, we get 15. Um, so it basically does inte integer division, um, similar to the uh, double slash in Python, for example. Uh, and then it'll also give you the remainder. Um, one tricky thing is that um, although it prints out the remainder when you do this, it doesn't actually return it to you. So if I were to do something like 15 uh, integer division 4 and then um, multiply that by 4, it's going to give me 12 because it's going to take it's going to take this 3 here uh, and then it's going to multiply that by 4. And if we, if we test something else, um, we can see that that's true. So uh, um, let me 15 divide 6. Yeah, so 2 and 3. So we did um, 15 divided by, uh, sorry, 15 integer division 6 times 6. And so that's, that gives us 2 times 6, which is 12. Um, so... Uh, that's how the remainder operation works on the Casio FX991. Um, if you know of a way to get just the uh, just the remainder part instead of the integer division part, um, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, that would be pretty useful because in order to do a modulo operator, uh, what we're going to have to do is essentially um, do this sort of operation where we uh, find, we do the integer division, so we get like 15 integer divide 4, it's going to be 3, and then we multiply that by 4 to get 12, and then we need to subtract that from 15. So if we do, um, if we do 15 minus 15 integer, integer divide 4, um, that'll get us basically... Um, how many times 4 goes into 15 evenly, which is going to be 3. And then we multiply that by 4 to get 12, um, which is going to be um, basically like the number of whole groups of 4 that we have. And then we subtract that from 15 to get the, the 3 that's left over. Or that, that basically just gives us the remainder. Um, and so we can actually, now that we have this sort of method of doing it, we can combine that with calc. And we can put in an expression like a minus um, a integer divide um, b and then times b. Uh, so we, we now have this expression, which should basically allow us to put in any um, a and b, uh, where b is the modulus. And then 
we can like we can calculate that modulus operation. Um, so if we want to do the same um, 15 mod 4 that we did before, so we can put in 15 for A, and then put in 4 for B, and we're going to get 3 out. Um, so that's that's how we perform modulus on it. Um, so uh, now the question is, how do we uh, use that to perform a fast modular exponentiation? Um, because, uh, for example, let's take this this number that I've put here, or, or this equation, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7 to the power of 57 mod 7879. So if we do 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, exponent 57, yeah, it's going to give us a math error because that's way too big. Um, so we need some way of dealing with this. And I can't remember what the technique is called. Um, you may have heard about it. I think it's like, uh, binary decomposition or something. Uh, but basically the concept is that um, if we can determine uh, 57 is a, a binary string, um, we can use that to break up the um, exponentiation into smaller and easier to calculate parts. Uh, and so one way we can do that is um, the easiest way to figure out what 57 in binary is, is to uh, go take your calculator, put it into uh, base n mode um, by hitting mode and then 4. Um, and then uh, we can go ahead and put in 57, uh, hit equals, and you'll see it shows up here. And then if you hit shift and press um, where it says binary here, so that's the log key, um, you'll see it It will tell you it in binary. So we can, we can now say that um, 57 base 10 is equal to 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, uh, base 2. And so um, what this is essentially telling us in math is that uh, x to the 57 is going to be equal to x times, uh, reading this from sort of right to left here, so this is, this is x, this is x squared, uh, x to the 4, x to the 8, uh, 16 and 32. Um, and so if there's a one there, then you want to include that in your product. And if there's a zero, then you, you don't want to include that. Um, so yeah, x times, um, yeah, this x here, and then x squared, x4, uh, we skip. So x to the eight, um, x to the 16, and x to the 32. So, um, and like equivalently, this is equal to x to the 1 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32, which if we um, put our calculator back into uh, comp mode, which is like the, the default mode, and we just 1 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32, we can see it's equal to 57. So yeah, so we know that this actually is equal to x to the 57. Um, and so now we just have to determine what these four are. Um, and because we're, we're doing the exponentiation mod this number, um, we can sort of take all of these intermediate uh, results mod uh, 7879. And so we can uh, do that really quickly using the calc functionality on this calculator. So um, I'm going to start by typing in uh, a equals, and then I'll put the same thing which we did before with one modification. So I'll do a minus a integer divide, and I'm just going to directly put in um, 7879 since we're going to be doing um, all of these operations um, with 7879 as the, as I don't, I don't even know what that's called, the, the, the thing that you're modding by. Um, and then Sorry, times 7879. So yeah, now we sort of, we don't have to put in 7879 and it won't ask us for it every time. So now um, if we hit calc, we can put in sort of the number that we're starting with. Uh, I'm just gonna write out um, a table of values that we want. Um, no, let's write, let's write all of them. So um, we're basically going to be building up this table, um, x, x squared, x4, x to the eight, x16, x32. And we're going to find out what all of those are, uh, mod 7879. So I'm going to put in um, 
four, five, six, seven, and as you might expect, four, five, six, seven, mod seven, eight, seven, nine is just four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. And so now what, what we can do is because we just stored the value back into A, we can go calc and then we can do um, alpha A squared. And so that, that is gonna give us X squared um, mod seven, eight, seven, nine. And then we just hit equals. We can see it prints out 1776. Um, and we can basically just do this repeatedly. One tip is that um, you can use the recall key instead of the alpha key uh, to access these variables. So I'm going to do recall alpha squared. Um, and the reason why I didn't use that from the start is that somewhat confusingly, um, here, let me exit out of that. If you're just on like, like you have nothing else typed in on the main page and you hit recall alpha, it'll just print out the value of, uh, sorry, recall A. It'll just print out the value of A, which is often not what you want. You want to start writing in a new equation using that. I guess you could like use left and right to um, adjust the cursor position, but yeah, that's kind of annoying. So um, anyways, yeah, so let's go calc, recall alpha squared and enter. It's going to tell us. Two, five, seven, six, calc recall alpha squared. I keep on saying alpha. <laughs> it's A. Um, one, six, five, eight, calc recall A squared, seven, zero, seven, two. And one last one, uh, five, one, seven, one. And yeah, so. Just, just to go over again, um, when we do, when we do calc and then we, yeah, so this, uh, when the calculator evaluates this using calc, it's going to find the modulo and then it's going to put whatever value you found back into A. And so when you hit calc and you type in um, recall A square, um, that's going to basically square A and then it's going to put it through the modulo operator. Um, so that's that's kind of neat. Um, you can you can use this to like do some arithmetic here. Like if you if you for example wanted to find like um, five hundred times one two three um, mod whatever, um, you can do that and it'll tell you it's six three four seven. I have no idea if that's right. I'm assuming it is. Um, uh, but yeah, so that's just something that we can also use in this new step. So. Um, uh, we need to find x times x to the 8 times x to the 16 times x to the 32. So I'm just going to, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to sort of group these together. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing this is because if we were to do uh, too big of an operation, it wouldn't fit into like the, what the calculator is able to represent again. Um, and that would be, that would be kind of annoying. So I'm just going to take them sort of two at a time. I'm going to do four, five, six, seven times one, six, five, eight, and then take that mod, whatever. And then I'm going to do this multiplication and take that mod, whatever. And then I'm going to multiply these, these two results that we get together. So four, five, six, seven times one, six, five, eight, and we get three, six, seven. And then, um, calc seven, oh, seven, two times. 5171, we get 2873. And then now we can multiply those two together to get uh, 367. And then this is this is an A because we just calculated it. So I can do 367 times recall A and get 6484. Um, and you can see this is, this is, I just, um, calculated that value with Python earlier. Um, so knew it was correct and we can see that we, we obtained the correct answer here. So now we can say that, um, uh, now because of this, we can say for sure that four, five, six, seven to the 57 mod seven, eight, seven, nine equals Six four eight four. So that's a quick overview of how to do fast modular exponentiation on the Casio FX nine nine one, and I hope that helps. Uh, thanks.